transcribing your handwriting into editable digital text. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. For decades, we've had copy and paste. It's a way to take digital text from one place and put it somewhere else so that we can edit it. But what if the text isn't digital? How can we convert that which is printed in a book to editable text? To take things further, for those who like to handwrite notes, how can you digitize those notes so that you can paste them anywhere, edit them, search them, and share them? Well, I've already shown you a way to do something like that in Google Lens. I'm going to link to that content. Today, I want to show you how to do that with ChatGPT. I'll also let you compare the difference between what Google Lens produced and what ChatGPT produced. Okay, first of all, you're going to need to download the app. Start by downloading the ChatGPT app on your phone. It's available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Log into your existing ChatGPT account. Open your app and begin your request. As an example, you could enter, I'm going to take a picture of handwritten text. Please transcribe the handwriting into digital text. When ChatGPT asks for the picture, tap the plus sign and choose your camera icon. You'll snap your picture and then click the upload arrow to submit your results to ChatGPT. As your newly created transcribed text appears on your phone screen, it's time to put it in a more permanent place. Hold your finger on the translated text and a menu appears. Select Copy. So where do you want to save this text? For me, the usual choice is Evernote. Now your choice could be Google Drive, Word, Apple Notes, Notion, or a host of others. When I look at the results from ChatGPT versus Google Lens, even though Google Lens was good, ChatGPT was better. Wherever my handwriting is less than pristine, ChatGPT is able to rely on the context to help determine the word that's written. I want to show you two more examples. Now, if ChatGPT is able to look at context, then perhaps its success with interpreting my handwriting on the Gettysburg Address has to do with ChatGPT already knowing the Gettysburg Address. Okay, let's do another example. We're going to try an old favorite. The quick brown fox just came over to greet the lazy dog. ChatGPT transcribes the cursive perfectly, even though my cursive is far from perfect. Again, you might say that's a famous sentence, a popular example of a sentence that uses every letter of the alphabet. Fair enough. Let's take one that's totally made up. Handwritten notes are fun when interpreted correctly, is my next example. ChatGPT transcribed the handwriting without a single error. There's one additional thing I'd like to point out. When I look at my own handwriting, the S at the end of the word notes is very faint. In fact, I'm surprised that ChatGPT interpreted that word as notes instead of note. But looking at the context of the sentence, we have are fun rather than is fun, indicating the noun is plural rather than singular, notes rather than note. Again, ChatGPT is relying on some context to help it decipher my handwriting. Finally, here's a longer text. Again, it's totally made up and goes like this. I wonder how well ChatGPT will interpret my handwriting. Since this text is something ChatGPT couldn't find somewhere else, it may be more of a challenge than if I copied standard text, such as the Gettysburg Address. And the results are perfect. So as a review with each case, after snapping the picture within ChatGPT and hitting the up arrow to upload it, press and hold on the text to bring up a menu to copy. Go to your destination on your phone, such as Evernote, and paste. And then from there, since your phone connects to your other connected devices, it's there as well 
You can put that text anywhere you want it. For several decades, we've been downplaying teaching handwriting. Our argument is that our world is digital and therefore handwriting has no place. Maybe there's an argument to be made there, but at the same time, we see studies that say students perform better when their notes are handwritten than when they take those notes on a laptop computer. But now we have a way to have our cake and eat it too. If you like to write your notes by hand, fine. Use Google Lens or Chat GPT to transcribe them into editable text. But the better your cursive, the more accurate that transcription is going to be. My third grade teacher would be smiling. While this technique is fresh on your mind, why not try practicing it? If this is not a good time, then do what I do. Grab the URL that you're on right now. Create a task in your digital task manager that tells you to come back to this episode and schedule a date for when you want to try it out. Schedule a date for when you want to see that task again. Paste the link in the notes section of that task. Now one click puts you right back here. No way you can forget about it. If you enjoyed this episode, there's plenty more on frankbuck.org. Join the email list for two free gifts, and so you'll never miss a thing. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.